Dear Yellow Jacket Stadium, For the past 72 years, we've called you our home. Thousands of people have walked through your gates to cheer our beloved Yellow Jackets over the years. You've been at the heart of the Denham Springs community for generations. You can go to barber shops, that's all they talked about. How we did that week, what we gonna do next week, who's doing what. Just some of the greatest memories of all time that I'll ever remember. It's just a great place to go to school. It was everybody within the community as well. You know, the, the parents of the players, the, the backers and, and so forth. Everybody just seemed to come together and get along well. And it just made for uh, just uh, a great environment to, to be able to play ball in. We've celebrated wins and suffered losses. We've mourned tragedies and defied floods. Dear Yellow Jacket Stadium. 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 Dear Jacket Stadium, thank you for being my home as a fan, a player, and a coach. I couldn't wait to get in high school so I could wear the purple and gold. My fondest memories are from the 1980s. What a place it would be on Friday nights. It was my dream to get back here under the lights in this community and around this campus. I consider myself one of the luckiest men alive because I wake up every day loving what I do, being back at the place where I became a man and learned to truly play this great game. I remember as a youngster watching the games long before I was in high school waiting for my turn to be out there. Some think of you as just a field and bleachers, but to me, you're much more than that. You're where I found my love for football. You're where I found some of my best friends in life. You're where I learned about brotherhood and having each other's backs. You were the place that brought a sense of normalcy to a community ravaged by a flood in 2016 on one September night. That night, you were on national television for all the world to see. For all the 6 a.m. conditioning, the 100 degree August practices, the highs and lows, I am forever grateful to have been part of a small piece of this stadium's history. You are a time capsule and we are all part of it. You live and breathe, you transcend time and space. You are a place where young boys dream, young girls swoon, and young men in their prime give every bit of their strength, effort, and courage for the honor of representing General Springs High School football. Although everything about you is about to change, all jackets know it wasn't the metal bleachers, the grass field, or the brick walls that made you home. It was the people that filled them that made it special. Thank you, Jacket Stadium, for bringing all these people together, for being our gathering place to play, work, and make life memories with. And we look forward to many more years with new memories in the new stadium. Sincerely, Mitch Covington, class of 1994. Sincerely. Joe Tex Ryan, class of 2009. Sincerely, Brennan LeBlanc, class of 2019. Sincerely, Josh Neal, class of 2000. Michael Soror, class of 1986. Van Foster, class of 1971. I'm Andy Natterville, class of 1973, and forever a yellow jacket. From Denham Springs with photographer Ron Pietrahita, this is Tim Brando for Newsline Sports. It was a simple Burks to Burks for the winning points and Denham Springs' big win over previously undefeated Lee last Friday night. This isn't the first time in this family that uh, brothers have been teammates and pr uh, produce winning teams. And eventually saved the touchdown because Jason Delmore was stopped on fourth and goal from the three. Then Denham Springs drove 97 yards for the score. As we recognize our past, we look forward eagerly to our future knowing that the best days in Denham Springs are ahead of us. The soil isn't changing. The foundation built here will never go away. Dear Yellow Jacket Stadium. 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 A football field to some, but home to many. Through the highs and lows, this place always seems to be my protection, my comfort, and my place of safety. 
You have watched me grow into the man I am today, and because of you, I am that man. You have taught me many lessons about life. Thank you for the memories that will forever be with me. Thank you for the countless hours spent grinding, the laughs, the tears, the good times, and the bad. As the last couple years have gone by, we've had new coaches, a program rebuild, natural disasters, pandemics, losing seasons, ridicule, disrespect, and even a death of a teammate and a coach. But through it all, we have persevered. No matter what happened, good or bad, Yellow Jacket Stadium was always here for us and those who came before us. Thank you for the memories and loved ones that you brought to us. All the good and bad times. From the outside looking in, physically, this stadium may not seem as much. But deep down, Yellow Jacket Stadium carries an unbearable amount of heart and passion. From being little kids not being able to wait for us to play under those Friday Night Lights, to playing the last one ever. Thank you, Yellow Jacket Stadium, for giving me a second home, a second family, and friendships that will last a lifetime. And even though that we are parting ways, I will always love you, Yellow Jacket Stadium. This stadium is defined by tradition, adversity, perseverance, and hard work. And it will forever be a part of Denham's rich history and show where we've been and where we will go. Sincerely, Dylan Watson, Class of 2022. Sincerely, Zane Hooper, Class of 2022. Sincerely, Ethan Fossil, Class of 2022. Sincerely, Hunter Rushing, Class of 2022. Sincerely, Connor Sullivan, Class of 2022. For one final time, we gather together and take our home field in purple and gold. Dear Yellow Jacket Stadium, thank you for all the memories. <laughs>